ladies and gentlemen, we also have a brand new trailer for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. And oh, baby, the leaks were true. <laughs> to start off, there's a lot of theories, a lot of speculations, maybe some cameos, or as I like to call it, world building. <laughs> Whoa. There's a lot to dive in here. There's a lot to dive in here real quick before we get in. Vince, what were your thoughts real quick of the trailer? Visually, it's it was pretty cool. And Sam Raimi, I am excited that we got the eyeball shot in the trailer. That's pretty mm-hmm. cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, there's a lot of things happening in this trailer. And I know you're much... You, okay, you go. Because I don't want to tone down the excitement <laughs> here. I, you just keep okay. going, okay? Okay, so we have an article here from Cinema Blend, And we'll be going back and forth here. So we have, uh, of course, there, ladies and gentlemen, a confirmation. Patrick Stewart himself, playing Charles Xavier, is appearing in this film. Now, we saw the corner of his head when uh, Doctor Strange was held hostage from some Ultron robots, which even taps into, are these Ultron robots created by Tony Stark in an alternate reality? Who knows? But here's the article. Uh, The reason Patrick Stewart uh, initially turned down the opportunity, down back, uh, down, was that that, uh, due to the release of Logan, all right? So that was going to be his last appearance, right? Yeah. Uh, He died. Uh, It was, of course, the Hugh Jackman-led film. Uh, It seemed to be why the actor was interested in reprising the character for the MCU. An appearance by Charles Xavier in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness Confirming the leader of the X-Men as being alive could perhaps retcon Logan, which I don't think it will, because this is an al- alternate timeline. It's I tough. don't think that's what that is. This is People- my this is the problem for me, for really for me, is Logan had the perfect end for Charles Xavier. Yes. And like mm-hmm. I that's one of my favorite Marvel movies. I know it's not in the Absolutely. MCU, but it really it's like really high tier for me. Absolutely. In the same it, it has the same level of respect that they give him his send-off as mm-hmm. they do with like Tony Stark send off. So the idea that Absolutely. I know you're going to get into that, um, like the Tony Stark mm-hmm. character, not Robert Downey Jr.'s Tony Stark, but another one mm-hmm. could be coming back is like, to me, lessens the like, okay, mm-hmm. this was it. Like we spent years with these characters, but it, it makes, I know this is the com- complaint I've had forever is mm-hmm. anybody can come back. Like anybody's like could be possible. And it's like, yeah. is a death important? No, because it's, in 10, yeah. Yeah. It's harder because with films, you, you become so attached and, and yeah. you kind of forget, me too, like in comics that oh, there are different versions of the right, characters right. that come and go. And, and I think people, you know, with X-Men 97 coming to Disney+, Plus, the animated series, it might be that version where he's in the robotic giant chair and yeah, he's yeah. the head of the Illuminati and Charles Xavier is separated from the X-Men. It's like a whole different thing. Like it's that different character from Logan. And right. I want people to remember that that is still there, that core, that send off to that character is that. Even then, they sh- different. then they should recast him. <laughs> They should recast him or That's like, true. I have think... a new character unless they're really putting the X-Men like if that means that everything that X-Men should be canonized or else they should just recast him and keep M- like new X-Men in MCU. I, I don't know why they would do that. I think it is canonized, but it also goes into, you know, with Fox now being owned. If like if they're doing the Toby and Andrew, it's like, hey, we, we just want to make it clear. We're doing we're pulling in every single actor, Deadpool, Patrick Stewart, Ryan Reynolds. We're doing all that just so that it's clear that we have everybody everybody's in this universe now yeah. you know what i mean in a way in a weird way so moving on to the the rest of the article the mcu's introduction of the multiverse creates a scenario in which patrick stewart can portray charles xavier and introduce the rest of the x-men and not compromise the fate of the character in logan which i like it's possible and even likely that this xavier is a variant from a completely different timeline similar to characters we've seen in loki of course uh we see two different versions versions if not more of dr strange Defender yeah. Strange, a more evil Doctor Strange. Slick back. Probably even, yeah. Probably. <laughs> Slick back Doctor Strange. Yeah, he looked pretty, he looked pretty interesting, <laughs> but hey, awesome. you, got, you got the weird cut. Yeah. And uh, so there's a high likelihood that this is, of course, a different Xavier that we've seen in the past, which yeah. there was speculation that we've seen the kind of Illuminati uh, confirmed. <laughs> Illuminati yeah. confirmed, where it's, you know, Tony Stark, uh, Chala, uh, Namor, maybe even Mr. Fantastic, played by John Krasinski as a fun nod. And Charles Xavier, but maybe they were kind of uh, anti-heroes and, I mean, bad, kind of a mm. bad TVA controlling even above the TVA because they're kind of monitoring the multiverse, right? So, all right, let me ask you this. Mm. Let's say, is okay, T'Challa's in the, in the Illuminati. Is this going to be a different character than whoever's going to take the mantle of T'Challa in Black Panther 2? Like, what's yeah, that going to be? I think the reality that we're seeing, you know, with the Ultron bots escorting Doctor Strange is yeah. a completely different reality or someplace even outside of the reality itself, multi, okay. you know, multiverse. Because All different actors. You know, yeah, we're seeing maybe a Tony Stark from a different 
you know, of course, reality. And, and yeah. it's just the they're, they're monitoring because it, at this point, Strange has messed up so many times. Wanda even calls him out like you, you're doing all this stuff. You're the hero and I do it to get my kids and I'm the bad guy. Like it doesn't make sense to me. You know, Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm excited to see uh, Wanda's role in this movie because I, I don't really understand. They really make it the end of WandaVision seem like she is off her rocker like evil. And in this yeah. one, she's like, oh, OK. Like I'm happy I'm walking through the mm -hmm. through the trees with Doctor Strange, and then like she's like, Ugh, and then you're like, Whoa. yeah, it's like an, it was an illusion. That on? whole scene that we saw that it was initial confrontation is actually an illusion because we see the background, uh, it's red, so oh. that's that was fake. So there's a lot of uh, theories, of course, to speculate and get into. Even I'll, I'll say another one real quick during the house scene yeah. when she's in her Scarlet Witch outfit and she's looking at another Wanda. People were saying that that Wanda could be happy with her kids in another reality, and she's crying because she, she's not going to take away her mm. kids from herself. So it's sad that our Wanda never really gets her happy ending, but even other Wandas out in different realities are yeah. happy, you know, except her. So it's like, ugh, it's sad, but it's she's, a... It's a she's got an interesting here. story. Like, I, I'm excited to see where that goes. I, I know there's a lot of characters. I'm sure we'll get a lot of surprises when we watch it, too, that we weren't expecting. I know there's but tons of, le of leaks out like yeah I, I i wish i knew nothing about this but like because the leaks i'm like oh hopefully this character's in it hopefully this character's in it but then i'm like i don't really want to know i want it to be like a spider-man type thing where it's like whoa i didn't know that was gonna happen or something you know true true um, and another point to think about if they're showing a lot of this for the trailers you got to think what are they hiding for yeah, the movie absolutely so there's, there's probably a lot that you don't know about that and here's the i thing. don't know about <laughs> This is going to be a fun experience no matter how good the movie is. I'm going to enjoy yeah. myself. But at the end of the day, I really want a good I want a good story that is going to carry whatever the next thing of MCU mm -hmm. is. I, I I don't want like a half-baked story with just cameos. I want a good story with those crazy reveals that we've that made us freak out in Spider-Man and stuff like that too. Mm -hmm. And I want I think Sam Raimi can deliver that. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. It's one of those I, I thought Chloe's out would deliver in eternals and i mm -hmm. well, no, okay eternals it's okay to me like i don't love it it's, it was it was okay it was fun but like i didn't get chloe zhao in that mm -hmm. i want mm -hmm. sam raimi on this movie yeah. like i want yeah. to see it and, and i hope horror elements look like they're there and let's hope that this is just the tip of the iceberg yeah right? let's hope we get sam raimi at his best totally. going in yeah 100%. Also, the visual effects look so good in this like the giant empire state building that's like going through new york oh, yeah was it's so crazy. cool that was awesome mind-blowing mm -hmm. yeah yeah so another little tidbit is that we're seeing characters from the what if disney plus series of course yeah. we're seeing zombie wanda zombie strange and it seems like we're getting live action what if essentially <laughs> there's a lot yeah. uh, a lot here that's what I'm um, most. That's I'm scared about. I'm actually scared about that. <laughs> true, true. Live action. Yeah, mid. I know. I know. <laughs> no. Uh, another tidbit is that in the trailer, of course, we see uh, another character, America Chavez, which is you know prominent in this film, which is gonna mm. be great. She has multiversal powers. She can open up portals. Yeah. She was gonna be featured in No Way Home, but of course they had to do uh, time constraints and COVID. They couldn't introduce her in that one. That's but, it. Would have uh, been too much. Would have been way too much to try to introduce another character in that movie. Yeah. I mean, at this point, with Endgame, I, I think they can handle it, but it's just yeah timing they, they yeah. need time that's why they took it out because it wasn't safe right. there was a clip where they're going through a, a, a dinosaur realm and you see in the background it looks like the comic book reality that they're oh, yeah. literally pulling out of a comic book reality which is a kind of a cool fourth wall break and it, they're just gonna get wild with this and then as well as uh captain marvel which looks like a variant this time it could be either monica rambo or maria rambo mm -hmm. people are even talking about an iron man sentinel superior iron man or something like that so cool. there's lots of cameos we see Captain Carter's shield on the poster, maybe even Deadpool on the poster, which I think he looks pretty pretty good like Deadpool. That'd be but... hilarious. That makes <laughs> sense. A, <laughs> yeah. And, of course, the imagery that compares to House of M, which is the one where Wanda creates mut or just uh, makes all the mutants go away. So this could be the conjuring of how the X-Men is introduced, which yeah. I believe it, they're going all in for. So cool. that's it. There's a lot more to break down this trailer, but, you know, let us know what else you caught. And yes. That's let about us it. know. If you guys want to watch the full episode, you can check it out by becoming a member right here on Strictly Chasable channel for $2 a month. Uh, you can get access to the full video podcast, but you can also check it out on audio platforms for free everywhere. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.